contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from South Central Los Angeles, weighing in at 285 pounds, Chocolate Thunder, Willie Mack. Time for some action in Derby City Wrestling. And man, oh man, do we have an incredible matchup coming our way. One of the most decorated legends in the history of the United Wrestling Network, Willie Mack, is in the house. And the crowd just springs to life for Willie Mack. Can't blame him. What a matchup on tap here. And introducing his opponent from Houston, Texas. He is the reality of wrestling champion, the main event, all damn day, Will All Day. Championship caliber clash here. You see Willie Mack, multiple time United World Television Champion on this program. Of course, was an X Division Champion. You've seen him everywhere from Lucha Underground to AEW, Ring of Honor. Recently mixed it up with a bona fide legend in Dustin Rhodes. You talk about Rhodes, you talk about Texas, you talk about Will all day. Absolutely, the reigning reality Texas champion. Will Allday coming out of Booker T's promotion. And I mean, he is fresh off a recent title defense as well. Gotta wonder if he's coming in 100% here with this challenge of Willie Mack. Yeah, certainly. And, and you, can, you can see there that the ribs are taped up of Will Allday, but knows a huge opportunity here under the bright lights, Derby City Wrestling, United Wrestling Network, to mix it up with the likes of Willie Mack. And Will Allday is no stranger to this building. In fact, Will Allday competed in the very first Unite Wrestling Network match in this building on Primetime Live when he took on former world champ, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater. It's just so great to see Will Allday back here at Unite Wrestling Network. Not gonna make any friends with that move, but yeah, it, you're, you're right, Todd. I mean, just look at his body heavily taped on Will Allday. Both these guys, two of my favorite competitors. This one should be really good. Yeah, we got a real treat for you here on Derby City Wrestling for certain, and you gotta wonder if Willie Mack is gonna go after those ribs, breaking down the reality of wrestling champion right now, applying the pressure on that side headlock, and takes him up and over, does Willie Mack. And you know, you talk about the fact that Will All Day is the reality of wrestling champion, much to the chagrin of Booker T, Will All Day holds a pinfall victory over the legendary Booker T. What an incredible accomplishment that is, and it would be another feather in his cap. He's able to beat Willie Mack here, Come on. trying to gain the early so advantage over Mack. Gonna be tough, especially with those busted up ribs to win in a power confrontation with Willie Mack. But I'll tell you, you can see that Will all day since we last saw him here has put on some sizable size and strength. Yeah, can, and continues just to raise his game. He was a great competitor the last time we saw him. He just keeps getting better. The true testament of a, of a great one. Not being satisfied, not resting on your laurels, and Will all day certainly fits that bill. Well, the ribs don't seem to be hampering his movement any there. It was so fluid, but runs into a big Mack truck. Yeah, not able to, not able to move Willie Mack. Will All Day looks a little stunned there. Talk about me, that's a big wall, baby. And anybody that's been in there with the likes of Willie Mack will tell you that he is truly one of the hardest hitters in the entire sport. Yeah, no doubt about it. Nice leapfrog from Will All Day and taking Mack. No, Mack cartwheeling. Still on his feet, not sure Will All Day realized, now he does. Yeah, don't turn around, you won't like the view. But look at this, nice counter there by Will All Day. Turning on a dime in midair to take down Willie Mack. Flies in with the big flying forearm cannon job. And right now, out, out striking the hard hitter is yeah, Will All Day. Well, just flinging himself at Willie Mack, trying to get all of his body weight to bring the big man down. And now perched on the second rope, what does all they have in mind? The Rana, that took Willie Mack up and over. Willie Mack doesn't seem himself right now. I think he's in a lot of pain. He's clutching that shoulder. You saw that he kind of gingerly ran in there into the corner. I think Willie Mack could be in some serious trouble. And if anybody can exploit an injury, it's Will all day. He will put you on the dissection pan. Yeah, you're talking about not coming in 100%. We were speculating about all day, but now it's Willie Mack who might be having to fight through a serious injury. And again, just throwing himself at Mack. 
is all day pressing the advantage. Taking his time. What a kick. Will all day brimming with confidence right now as he has got, and you can see Willie Mack shaking that hand. He might have a stinger. He might have that burning sensation running down that shoulder. And, and Willie Mack might be a one-armed man in this matchup. Yeah, clutching at that shoulder, something to keep an eye on as this match progresses. Still a lot of power coursing through the frame of Willie Mack, able to evade, and now just pouncing on all day. Pounce, indeed, Willie Mack. Back in the driver's seat, if he can get back to his feet, we've got a unbelievable pounce there by Mack. But Willie's still down, still trying to get some more feeling in that shoulder. Oh, you see him just staring at almost just trying to talk trash to his own body, like to cooperate with him. And that might have been a sacrifice play for Willie Mack, that big flying tackle, the pounce there, because, you know, he, we would have contacted with that shoulder as well. But back up to his feet all day as well, albeit with the top rope assist and that elbow scored. And all day launched himself from the second rope, but Mack caught him, plucked him out of the air. Hang on, you're going for a ride. Scoop and a slam. Look out here, Willie Mack in the launch position. Not where you want to be if you're Will all day. Some style points. Standing moonsault. Will Mack go for the cover? He does. Mack looking to put him away, no. And we've got to take a break. What incredible action. This match continues next. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-484-9588. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome back everyone to Derby City Wrestling. What a match we have for you here. Reality of Wrestling Champion Will All Day against one of the greatest champions history of this program, Willie Mack. This has okay. been a feast okay. of physicality. And right now, Willie Mack in control. But it's, of course, as soon as I say that little commentator's curse, Will All Day roaring right back. Oh, but there's Willie with an answer. Double chop, serving up chops as only he can. Willie Max got Will all day prone on the canvas. Drops, man, he put a lot of mustard on that fist drop. Lowered the boom, but again, keep an eye on that injured shoulder of Willie Mack. Might have done some more damage to himself there. Yeah, my, you know, Stinger perhaps might have might have separated that AC joint. But, oh my uh, God, just maybe just separated Will all day, launching him into the corner up and over. Willie Mack almost gave Will Alday a, a free round trip right back to Houston, Texas. My goodness. Yeah, the Space City indeed. Well, speaking of Space City, Willie Mack, he's got the, uh, the high ground here. And again, just launching Will Alday. Now, I, again, you got to bring your attention back to the, the taped up body of Will Alday. How much damage was done there? Well, how much damage was done to the digits? Willie Mack pulling out all the stumps, you might say. Stomp the hands. Oops, quiet, please. Mercy. 
scintillating, scintillating chop by Willie Mack. We talked about him being a hard hitter. There it was, case in point. Some serious salt on that one. Will Alday does not want a second helping, but he might not have a choice in the matter. I think one of the pecs at Will Alday is all the way up in the camera tower. reverberating as Willie Mack just stoving in the chest of Will Alday in the action. Returning to the ring here. Come to Derby City Wrestling, they said. It'll be fun, they said, for Will Alday. He is getting punished. A harsh reality for the reality of wrestling champion right now, Will Alday. In a world of hurt. <laughs> And it's not getting any better. Well, I was gonna question if they were even still on his chest. I thought that those might be in the fifth or sixth row, but Willie Mack confirming that they're still around. A little proof of life, courtesy of Willie Mack to Will all day. A plot twist in this encounter. <laughs> Willie Mack having a lot of fun now, seeming like he has been able to overcome that oh! injury. What a shot though there. Lightning oh. kick. From Will Alday, oh, maybe providing the opening needs. He can't follow up, though. I mean, he's taken a tremendous beating for the last several stanzas of this matchup, but that is an opening to be sure oh, for Alday. And took Willie Mack off his feet in lightning fashion with that lightning kick. There's no title on the line here, James Kincaid, but some serious bragging rights. These two, this victory means a lot to both. It's no, no doubt about it. Will Alday sort of, I think, trying to offer up in kind to what he was getting from Mack, but not quite the same impact as Alday's taken off his feet. Willie Mack, I mean, shot after shot. At, at some point, you just gotta go numb if you're Will Alday. I don't even know how he's using his upper extremities at this point in the matchup. Willie Mack sizing him up here. The Check. strength on display, is that shoulder gonna hold up? Alday caught him, pinning predicament here. Alday nearly caught Willie Mack there, and that's to it. Could be looking autograph here, perhaps. But that was close, I, that was almost three there. Boy, this thing getting real physical. Again, two great champions. Neither one wants to back down an inch in this one, fans. And if you're Will Alday, you just want to look for any opening you can. No opening to be had there. Alday might have just got KO'd by Willie Mack. Going, going, gone. Shohei Otani's got nothing on this big league slugger that is Willie Mack. Mack continuing to tee off on Will Alday, who can scarcely offer up any defense right now. Looking like a screen door in a hurricane. Or, I mean, this is uh, Derby City. I guess he, he should say that Willie Mack a Louisville slip. <laughs> Very good, a cannonball coming, clear the deck. Will Alday just getting squashed right now, into the cover, hooks the leg. No, Will Alday, the heart of a champion. Willie Mack can't believe it. Thought he had this one. What's it gonna take to put all day away? And what again, a war of attrition. If you're all day, you just gotta look for any mistake, any type of opening, hit that autograph, and maybe end with a different outcome. There you see low bridge. Could that be the opening all day needs? You know, Willie Mack loves to use the stunner. That was a stunning maneuver there by Will all day. Round and round they go upstairs. Goes all day, and he's ready to fight all damn day. What an encounter this has been. Up top, Fish is shot in his own right. Topples Willie Mack. That's going to do it. He's out cold. No. All day so close. But he has seized momentum in this matchup. This is what the United Wrestling Network and Derby City is all about, bringing the very, the very best in the world of pro wrestling. Ollie. Looking for the autograph. Matt Signed caught sealed. him. Yeah. Sign sealed, not delivered there, James. Not not to be, not yet, but all day still trying with everything he's got to create an opening. Mac hung up on the on the guardrail and target locked. He had tone all day scores, exploding like a missile to the outside. What velocity by Will all day. At step one, and now clutching the shoulder again. It, it hit that guardrail on the outside for Willie Mack. He is paying the price. All day is perched. Nobody home. 
Willie Mack out the back door. And now Stunner, Stunner, Mack connects. Here's the cover. Yes! Here is your winner, Willie Mack! Let's take a look back at the action. And man, oh man, was there a lot of it. These guys put it all on the line, left it all in the ring. There you see that suicide dive. Have you ever seen a man move that fast? My goodness, a furious flourish to end this one. The suicide dive, all they look to continue to press the aerial advantage, but in the end, Mack was able to catch him with that stunner, and that was all she wrote. And I'll tell you, man, Willie Mack was able to overcome a whole lot of chocolate pain and brought the chocolate rain. Scores the victory over very game Will all day in a matchup that we will never forget. One of the very best that we've ever seen here in Derby City Wrestling. It is indeed Mac Mode. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-484-9588. crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing in at 205 pounds, main event. Evan Daniels! Main event, Evan Daniels. You see the stars on the glasses. He considers himself a major star here in the United Wrestling Network. Nobody thinks more highly of Evan Daniels than Evan Daniels. <laughs> That's true. But his stock has been on the rise, and for good reason. And introducing his opponent from La Mancha, Spain, weighing in at 185 pounds, El Primo, Hedio Trebeca. And I'll tell you, I would, uh, I'll put both these guys on a short list of, of competitors that have all the makings of future champions here at Derby City Wrestling and in the United Wrestling Network. Now, our fans are no stranger here in Derby City to the merciless one, Lord Crew. Well, out on the West Coast, it was Primo Henio that dished out the first defeat to Lord Crew after a lengthy undefeated streak. I'm sure Lord Crew is very much so nonplussed to see Primo at Derby City Wrestling. Primo handing out some handshakes before the match. Not sure how sincere those were. But yes, indeed, the man from La Mancha has arrived at Derby City Wrestling. and eating some shots from Evan Daniels in the early going. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> that's, that's something you don't see every day, Todd. You're doing some laps. That was uh, on a long way there to get the advantage. That was fun to watch, though. Some fast feet. I guess so. Nice footwork from Primo. Take, taking Daniels down and into the cover, hooks the leg, trying to win it early is Primo Henio. Very nimble. Yes, very quick. 
And uh, Primo Genio in control right now. And again, you know, we've, we've seen just how dominant oh, made event Daniels. What a knee. Wow. Daniels had a phenomenal heritage title match at one point with champion Kevin Martinson. Came within an eyelash of winning that prestigious title. And now having some fun at the expense of Primo Genio. It's got to be careful not to get disqualified here. It says emph emphatically, I've got till the count of five. That he does. You know, a lot of people really have their eye on the prize when it comes to the television title. And namely, recently, former champion outlandish Zicky Dice is kind of making his bid for another shot at that title. I could see either of these two competing for the United World Television title down the line as well. Wins so pivotal here. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And you already highlighted, these are two to watch in, in the coming weeks and months. Here at Derby City Wrestling and all across the United Wrestling Network, what a drop kick from Evan Daniels. Primo Genio now has to find a way to kick out. What a picture perfect drop kick it was just when Primo Genio had a little light at the end of the tunnel. There was a freight train coming his way in the form of that drop kick. Nicely executed, as always, by Daniels. He's gonna need more luck than a no leaf clover can give him. Primo hoping comes in the form of those overhand strikes, but slow going right now, but starting to string it together and back on his feet is Primo. Yeah, we, you talk about those kind of references. It's only a matter of time before one of these guys experiences the ecstasy of gold. I had a feeling you were going there. Happy it did. Tell you what, Primo's not happy that Evan Daniels went there right across the face and down. And Evan Daniels feeling it right now. But he, you're not going to keep Primo Genio down with a cover like that, Todd. Main event cover, not going to get it done. Had he secured a big uh, hook of the leg there, the bell might have been tolling for Primo Genio. Not yet. Evan Daniels just teeing off on a near defenseless Primo Genio. Got to be careful there before the referee maybe steps in there. Look, that, look how dazed Primo is. Primo has to intelligently defend himself because, yes, Chris Massey does have the authority to, in essence, call this TKO, say that he cannot continue. And signs and, oh, of man. life returning, intensity on the face of Primo Genio. Oh, my goodness, but for how much longer? Well, what a shot there by Daniels. Might have both dead his lights. You know, they say it's the shot that you don't see coming. I mean, geez, you couldn't have you couldn't have prepared for that. The movement of Daniels had caught him right in the back of the of the head. And Primo clutching at it right now, and it is just all Daniels right now. Stomping away with authority. And if there's one thing I learned in my youth watching pro wrestling and listening to Gorilla Monsoon, is that you don't want to get caught in the external occipital protuberance. You ain't lying. And Daniels just continues to size up Primo here. Taking his oh, sweet time, and nothing sweet about that landing, was there? Nobody at the bottom of the well for main event Daniels, yeah. Took too much time, and Primo has got to seize this opportunity if he can. Primo has earned the respect of the fans here because I just think they don't like the way that Daniels carries himself. I can't say I blame them. What a shot from Primo. Follows it up. And now it's Daniels who can scarcely defend himself. Full head of steam coming. Oh. And oh man, runs right into that shot downstairs. Primo doubled over, but spine buster to Daniels. Maybe suckered him in there. Adrenaline can do wonders. I love the heart, the core zone being displayed by Primo Henio. Thought he might go for the cover, cover but looks like he's gonna try and capitalize here. Got something else in mind for Daniels. Maybe a mistake though, those shots to the kidneys from Daniels didn't even seem to phase Primo. Like you talk about the adrenaline, he just plants him. Spiked him, brain buster, center of the ring. Is that gonna do it? Here's the cover, no. Daniels shows what's he, what he is made of. Great back and forth seesaw contest here on Derby City Wrestling. Can't believe Daniels kicked out of that brain buster, just got the shoulder up. If Primo can stay on him, but that might have been his best flurry, but he's trying to will himself to keep going. Time tested maneuver here in United. The likes of Kevin Martinson, Bateman have used it to great effect. Didn't get the one, two, three there, but Primo can't cry about it. He's got to keep the pedal to the metal here. Stay aggressive. Nobody home there. Sizing him up, Daniels, yeah, pointing to his ring acumen, but taking too much time. The wheel kick connects. Nasty spill for Daniels. Primo staying in control. Primo, that big spin heel kick. 
and see if he can keep that momentum going. This, Primo Henio is just a perpetual motion machine. Just chopping at Daniels, who is now in a very precarious position here atop the ropes. What does Primo have in mind? I'll tell you, that one didn't feel good to main event Daniels. You can see the, just the disgust and the pain all over his face. Both guys in a precarious position oh. here. And you see that that balance on Primo, very adept and nimble as we've stated. Now just clubbing away at the back of Evan Daniels. It looks just like he's in a heap there on top. He is, he is hapless and helpless at the moment. And Primo trying, perhaps thinking superplex here. If he can change his levels, pop those hips, but holding on for dear life is main event Daniels. Trying to save the matchup for himself. I believe he's gouging at the eyes of Primo and a headbutt. And that elevator might be going down to the basement for Primo. And now can Daniels capitalize? He's no stranger to high risk when it calls for it. But taking the shortcut to stop the offense of Primo, and there's a stomp. That could be all she wrote for Primo. Into the cover goes Daniels. And yes, there's a three count. Here is your winner, Evan Daniels. Daniels gets the victory. I wish I could say he earned it at the end. He went to the eyes, late eye, eye rake, then comes off the top to get the one, two, three. More action coming your way in Derby City. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-484-9588. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Pretty Peter Avalon. Hey, Slice, what's up, man? What up, baby? How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? good. Hell yeah. Big title match tonight. I'm ready. You never, I'm ready. you never won that belt, right? You've had heritage, but you never won the world title. Nah, right? not the world title. Just want to let you know, man. Good luck. Thank From you. the bottom of my heart. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. You know why? You're going to need it. You know, me, Danny, Papo, we research everything you've ever done. You think we don't do tape study? 15 years you've been here. 15 years we study all your matches. Besides, Danny's mine. If anyone's gonna take that belt from him, I think it's gonna be you. It's gonna be me. Good luck. May the best man win. What was that about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ready? Of course I'm ready. Hello folks and welcome to the United Wrestling News Desk. I'm Jack Farmer and what an exciting time it is to be at the epicenter of pro wrestling. Faces new and old continue to emerge and one of the more impressive debuts we've seen at Championship Wrestling came courtesy of Buck Skinner. We were able to catch up with the Lone Stranger who had this to say. My name is the Lone Stranger, Buck Skinner. Now, I know y'all ain't used to seeing this pretty mug on your TV screens in the United Wrestling Network, 
but you better get used to it because it's 2024 and it's the year of pain and the pain Olympics have started right now. Buck Skinner, we're going to be quite the force to be reckoned with here at Championship Wrestling. Of course, veteran Mikey O'Shea had quite the run-in with Evan Daniels, which led to an odd ending to their matchup. For more on that, let's hear directly from Mikey O'Shea himself. Take a look. Evan Daniels, you beautiful stud muffin. Now, I don't know what your problem was with me last week, but what you just did was woke up a sleeping dragon. So one way or the other, you and I, we're gonna dance again. But don't worry, since you're so worried about my sweats and my hygiene, I'm gonna make sure I smell fresh as possible when I put you on the floor! Whew. From wild situations to outlandish ones, Ziggy Dice has always known how to find championship opportunities, and recently, he's been lobbying for a shot at the United World Television Championship. A former Heritage Champion in his own right, Zicky Dice is convinced he can stop Jack Banning's reign of terror and start the new age of outlandishment. But don't take my word for it. Take a look at this. Long time no see. It's, I've got this bitter taste in my mouth, this, this uneasy feeling, because the last time I was in this room was the last time I had my NWA World's Television Championship. This is the last time I'm gonna be in this room without a television championship. Tick tock, tick tock. You hear that? I'm a time bomb. It's only a matter of time before I blow up and I'm on every single television channel in the world. So remember this face. Outlander Zicky Dice is coming for the television championship. No more funny business. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. If I join you, you're the GM, be my guest. But make sure you give me whoever wins this match. I'm not trying to wait three years, all right? It's my turn. You're not going to wait forever, but it's got to be at a huge event. You won Golden Opportunity, so don't all worry. Right. All right, I'm going to hold you to that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United World Championship! <laughs> They don't get any bigger on this program than this. Pretty Peter Avalon. Here's a guy that's one of the most decorated champions in the history of this program. Multiple time tag team champion and the longest reigning heritage champion in history. Now we talk about the 400 plus day reign of Peter Avalon. How about 672 days as the heritage champ for Avalon? Unbelievable, and I think you hit on it, Johnny Laquasto hit on it. The backdrop for this match is historic. And here you see him, the radioactive poppy. We talked about the historic heritage title reign of Avalon. This man is the longest reigning United
United Wrestling Network World Champion in history. Eclipse, eclipse the likes of former champion Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater, a true world champion who has taken the title across borders and has come back with it each and every time. Has been such a great fighting champion. We've seen him in dire straits and rise to the occasion time and time again, but maybe no bigger test than right now against Peter Avalon. Introducing first, the challenger from Carson City, Nevada, weighing in at 181 pounds, Pretty Peter Avalon! <laughs> and introducing his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the United World Champion, the Radioactive Poppy, Danny Limelight! This place is going crazy. Huge matchup fitting of a milestone era here in the United Wrestling Network as James Kincaid we begin our 16th year of this program, but if you take a trip in the DeLorean, in the Wayback Machine, Avalon competed in the very first match in this program back in 2009 when he took on Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Hey, Avalon, you know it better than anyone, laid the foundation for us to get here to this 16th year. Danny Limelight, on that road he paved, has carved out just such an incredible run, fought tooth and nail to become the champion, and he's, he's holding on to it for dear life. Great atmosphere here. You don't want to make a pivotal early mistake. And Avalon, we talked about his tenure, such a veteran. He's seen it all. He uh, done a lot of research in the library, perhaps, and going to try and keep the champion close, keep away that high-octane pace of Limelight where he really flourishes. Yeah, controlling the tempo will be key. Limelight with, seemingly with the early advantage, but Avalon just too quick, too focused right now, but Danny Limelight, the champion, trying to reverse polarity in a hurry, but Avalon hanging right there with him. Even Steven thus far. Some good fundamental grappling to kick things off. And again, I think Limelight is gonna have to find a way to quicken the pace in this thing. He doesn't want to tie up with Avalon and it was every trick in the book. Here we go though, they're keeping it grounded thus far. Back and forth they go, seesaw action in the early going lake trip into the cover and out comes the champion looking for one of his own. Well, yeah, and like you said, oh, into the cover there, but just absolutely even back to the standstill. And begrudging or not, respect on the face of both champion and challenger. And I don't think there's a chance that Limelight overlooked Avalon and vice versa, obviously. No doubt about it, but somebody that certainly has a keen eye on this matchup is one, the king of the concrete jungle, Slice Boogie. Yeah, Slice Boogie was ready to make the most of that golden opportunity victory and challenge Danny Limelight. He's gonna have to wait to see who is champion at the end of this one, much to the chagrin of the king of the concrete jungle. Pace Quickens here in our title main event, showing some speed in his own right as Avalon, recipient of a arm drag there. And we talked about traveling the globe with the title. Danny Limelight recently defended the title against Azazel in Puerto Rico and he earned the respect of the likes of the great Savio Vega in doing so. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what company to be in, what respect to earn, and again, we'll keep harping on it. A true world champion, a true fighting champion who just hit a fantastic drop kick on Peter Avalon, comes in with a clothesline, sends Avalon to the outside, and Limelight's not done. Uh -oh. Limelight can sense it. The early opening for the champion. It's not LAX, it might be Air Poppy. But nobody home there. Avalon wise to it, looking to trip up the champion and oh. takes the elevator all the way down to the basement. Wise to all of Limelight's offense was Avalon. Yes, hitting the books, studying the tapes. 
knew exactly where Limelight was going and put a stop to it. And now looking to apply offense of his own, was looking perhaps for a Boston Crab, doesn't matter. Avalon got reversed and out to, the, out to the ramp goes Danny Limelight and that ramp has done some serious damage to the back of the champion. Yeah, somewhere Kevin Martinson is cringing there. He hate ramp, another champion, the United Wrestling Network, the Heritage Champion, but backdrop to the outside, and this is a huge turning point in this title matchup, and that shot He's got to send shock waves of pain through the champ, and that takes away a lot of his offense. Ty Turner in a big time way. Limelight scarcely moving out on the ramp. Clutching at his back. The champion in deep trouble. He is laid out. Avalon patient. The world title hangs in the balance. We'll be back after this. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-484-9588. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome back, everyone. The challenger, pretty Peter Avalon, in control. Nothing pretty about how the champion hit the ramp before the break, and nothing pretty about that backbreaker as well, the champion trouble. The target is firmly placed on the champion right now. The roadmap to victory for Avalon is the injured back of Danny Limelight. And think of one of the primary weapons of Peter Avalon. That golden arch, that half crab, that would put a lot of pressure on the back as well. Avalon defeated David Arquette, a former world champion with that hold. Looking to do the same to Danny Limelight, but Limelight still just so defiant, so much pride. Trading shots with the challenger. Neither man afraid to fire, just going toe to toe in there. Limelight starting to follow up, but Avalon puts a stop to it and right back to the back. Like a hot knife through butter with those shots and now takes out the leg of the champion. The radioactive Poppy is a one-legged man in there. You're not gonna see a torneo. You're not gonna see a symbiote DDT by the champion right now. A master class by the challenger Avalon. Yeah, Avalon starting to really pick apart the champion. He's got that left leg and it's just being destroyed right now. Time tested there, dropping all the weight down, that fulcrum, all the pressure being Limelight. put on. The limelight's in trouble here, desperation. Just doing whatever he can to try and fight out of it. Avalon senses that desperation. He's gonna force, he's gonna force Limelight to tap out here. Ooh, a death variation of the death lock, and it might be the death of the 400 plus day title reign of the champion here. Limelight. Reaching out, doing whatever he can. Overhand chop. Avalon offering back in kind. What an atmosphere, electric atmosphere here. Champion, challenger, giving as good as they get. And well, this place is, it's hard to hear ourselves speak here. Atmosphere is electric. The action 
has been frightfully hectic, most frightfully for the champion, Danny Limelight, who is still in dire straits here. That backdrop to the ramp was the difference maker. Limelight has not been the same since, and man, oh man, has Avalon found ways to exploit that. Now we, again, we've, you know, back rake from Avalon. Not gonna win many friends with that one. I mean, we've seen Danny Limelight face tough times, tough title defenses before. But that landing on the ramp, I mean, how often can Limelight continue uh -oh, to rally? Here. Beautiful float over from the suplex to count only. Applying that pressure there after the snap suplex. These two, so many parallels. Both were tag team champions. Both used to run in a pack. You know, you, you, Limelight, obviously there's some dissension in the bodega, but look out here. Avalon up top, Big Moonsault does not find the mark. Where's Stu Stone? No water in the pool. Nobody at the bottom of the well, and now it is Limelight that has the opportunity to take advantage of a mistake. And Limelight will do just that, because Limelight, you, you gotta kill him to take that title. He will fight with everything he's got as long as he's still standing and conscious upstairs, and Avalon goes downstairs in a hurry. Avalon might still technically be standing, but I'm not sure that he is conscious. And now, Limelight trying to take, no, the body betraying him. The spirit willing, the body just not. Limelight, oh, hits with the Spanish fly. Mercy out of nothing. Limelight hit the Spanish fly. Gutsy execution there, standing Spanish fly, but the difference maker here. All the punishment that Limelight took, he is not able to capitalize and cover here. And we are, in essence, back to ground zero. Well, for Limelight, I think that's a net victory. He's got to just continue to buy any sort of time to regain some semblance of a game plan and ability to bring the offense. It's gonna come down to who can dig down deeper, who wants it more, who can find that little something extra. It looks like Limelight's the first of the two right now. That uh, bodega train coming in, special delivery. And still, not to be outdone on style points. The radioactive poppy came in with a centaur, but you seem clutching right to that lower back. Yeah, Delore de Espalda there, looking to follow up. Oh, not another backdrop to the outside. Limelight oh, held on, and man, oh man, just concussive blows there by the champion. Full broadside barrage from Limelight. Sends Avalon to the outside yet again. This has turned into a human highlight reel, a real fireworks grand finale. It, he hasn't been able to hit it yet. Looking for that tornado, air puppy! Limelight somehow still agile, mobile, and certainly hostile. And the, his gente are going absolutely crazy. Limelight has completely turned this match around into his favor, and that is hard to believe given all the punishment he took earlier on. Just an incredible rally from Limelight and into the cover for another successful title defense. Not to be, not quite yet. Almost added Avalon to his list of, of successful title defenses, and that's been a real who's who. Following in here, looking to roll up Avalon. Wow, a lot of strength there. Great counter into the suplex. And now Avalon with a new lease on life. Death Valley driver dead to rights. History gonna be made here, new champion, no. Boy, I tell you what, I don't know if anybody's gonna win this match. Somebody's just gonna survive it. And now Avalon. Looking for it here, partner, looking for that golden arch. Can he step over and really sit back on that lower back? He's using the knee there. Avalon is, is feeling it, locking it in. He's gonna force Limelight to submit here. Is this how Limelight finally loses his grip on the title? He might lose his grip on consciousness. If he doesn't, he is a long way from the ropes here. He's dead center of the ring. There's, there's no shorter path to get there. He's got that, got it really wanted, and he gets there, finds a way. Just lunging with every bit of strength that he had now, clutching at the leg, bad back, bad leg. Not much left of limelight right now. Yep. And if you're Slice Boogie, you're just licking your chops oh, watching yeah. these two. These two are absolutely taking each other to task with the ultimate prize on the line. Limelight using the ring there as an ally, as a weapon, nicely done. Looking for the symbiote, looking for the symbiote, shrugged off there. Oh. Super kick by Avalon, finds the mark. Lights out 
for Limelight. And Avalon going up top and down with the splash to the injured back. New champion gonna be signed, sealed, and delivered here, no! How bad does Limelight want it? What a nasty splash, incredible elevation by Avalon. Maybe we'll set him up, who knows? Maybe Martinis, that's what he's thinking. He'll be drinking and celebrating as the new champ, but countered. Countered and just dropped, went Avalon. Limelight charging in, oh, and Avalon caught him again. Looking for the golden arch again. This time he might elect, oh, just putting all the body weight down. And now looking for the cradle. Nice counter by the champion, pinning combination. Close call, a near fall yet again. Boy, what a match, looking Martinis. Champ counters again. Wow, oh, Hurricane Puppy, Hurricane Puppy. Wow, oh, he got him. Here's your winner and still United World Champion, Danny Limelight. What a gutsy performance. James Kincaid by the champion, who does it again. The rain continues. Look at that backdrop to the ramp, all the punishment, and in the end, the weather report called for a hurricane poppy. The never say die spirit of Danny Limelight once again carries the day as he is still hoisting the United Wrestling Network World Championship. Incredible stuff from Danny Limelight and just an amazing challenge by Peter Avalon as well. It was. Both looked as good as they ever have, and that is 100% saying something. We just added another classic here in the history of the United Wrestling Network as we celebrate 16 years. What a win by the radioactive poppy. Incredible stuff. What emotion here. What Tremendous class. What respects, class. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, and now, Slice Boogie has entered the chat. The winner of Golden Opportunity. And the reign of, of Limelight might have surpassed 400 days. But if you talk to the king of the concrete jungle, those days are numbered. Staring daggers at Limelight and Johnny Laquasto coming to put a halt to the proceedings. I think he was getting a sense that Slice Boogie not wanting to wait any longer. Slice's opportunity will come, but today is not the day. Man, this is some serious combustible stuff. Gas being thrown on the fire. Danny Limelight for the moment, still the champion. Survived Peter Avalon, but can he survive taking on his own bodega squad mate, Slice Boogie?